Audio again. I get the island to get picked chicken. <laughs> Alright guys. For those of you who've never played the game, welcome to Fable. For those of you who have played Fable, well it's Fable anniversary and it's been a while since I played it, so I figured I'd make the record. So here we go. A small town of Oakvale. Unchanged by time. And untouched by the sword. <coughs> Here lived a boy and his family. A boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. <coughs> Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up! Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Demir, does he look like a monkey? 
<laughs> I don't think the uh, audio We'll try that one more time. All right. This woman, who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. I think I'm gonna go to Mark on them since I figure out how to enter buildings. Okay, let's just repeat. Face for only 
maybe later. But hurry before I eat them myself. Remember, free go. Obey the law, or I'll make your life intolerable. Obey the law, or I'll make your life in... Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in... If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. explain everything. Who is she anyway? Some tart from the village? <sighs> Younger than me, is she? We weren't doing anything, honest. Yo, filthy I'm grateful for your information, lad. <coughs> Philandering swine! Don't insult me anymore! My mo Come back to gloat, have ya? You've got some n Don't insult me anymore! Yes, actually I did. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Let's get our first gold coin. Well done, lad. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Let's see what else we can find to do. Like any RPG, you want to get as much as you can. Off playing games, are you? Your mother don't seem to be around much these Such days, does angel. she? <clears throat> that trader still seems to be working. Just Wouldn't want his job. You're lucky to have such a nice family, you know. You're setting a splendid example there. Is your mother Keep away again? Well, at least you've got your father to look after you. <laughs> I wish all children were as well behaved as you, young man. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to do anything with the sister that I'll the story.
goodness. Listen, lad, could you... I've got to, you know, and just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, walk with... My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blub. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? I am. But being good is so boring. Yeah, this... This first playthrough, I will be a good boy, but the next playthrough, I'll play evil. This family proud, that lad. Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your stuffing, Wait, I got the kid bear, but where the hell is the kid?
little girl, little girl, come out and play so I can give you your daddy. And then we'll go talk to the merchant. To see something for her birthday. Stock up. Oh, you're lucky. I've still got these sweet. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now and they're yours. Sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me. <coughs> Hello, lad. I'm a trader. All right, so I think we go get this to Sissy now. Uh, just an FYI, I'm not sure if y'all aware of this, but uh, the choices and actions you take in game actually have uh, effects that ripple through the whole game. So be very cautious on what you decide to do if you got a specific play, uh, play route you want to take. Because even kicking a chicken can get you in trouble. But then again, helping someone else can still get you in trouble and may actually, uh, you may accidentally be helping a bad person instead of a good person. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened. <laughs> I can't remember what. Never mind that one. I'm still waiting for my present. <laughs> I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. I knew you were going to come on. Uh, I don't remember anything. I can't remember how to, uh, if you can jump in this game. I don't think so. Got 
I remember when the greedy guys took the whole thing. Torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. <coughs> Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his king, but he was no warrior and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do on this one. It's been so long since I've actually played this game. me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Makes it sound like you want to be a villain. <laughs> to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. <coughs> Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. But now you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. And of course, if it gives me the option, I'm not, I'm going to explore. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ah, let the guy that makes you skip to the morning. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! There's a lot of hidden gems in this game, by the way, especially in the very beginning, that you can get that uh, later on may not become an option depending on the path you take. Like I said, any true RPG game player knows you have to search everything. talking to me for I like this part of the game the cloisters are so quiet Maze lives upstairs best stay away though he's a scary man
Okay. Right, we've been through all these. So let's go ahead. Hmm. I know there's more stuff I'm beginning to look at. I just. Doctor, now we just need to find the apples. Aha! Uh -huh. Another hero being trained. We need all the heroes we can get. What are you talking to me for? No, you're talking to me. <laughs> Apples, I need apples. Nope, not where I wanted to go. 
Oh, and uh, Glock doesn't pause while you're searching and stuff. It continues to go and tick, and there are some events that happen that you may miss if you do what I do, and that's explore. When you're in the middle of doing a quest, I guess it's called. so sure we might need you here who knows what battles we might face the signs are too strong to ignore the northern wastes have been too long isolated from the hill there's much to learn there well i hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight trying to cheat death again you know how people talk talk is of no matter to me may death his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bone and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? You can always find out where he is. Well, I know where he is, but I didn't want to go to him yet. Lost. I've looked everywhere I go to. There must be an apple tree out here or something. 
or a quest for me to take. To me, apples, wherever you are, come to me. Nope, I think it's the one. There's one. To a key chest in the world. No, I didn't go through there. As you can see, it's why I didn't do it. It makes me feel like it's Your path is dark. Only a light will reveal the truth. Your path is dark. Only a light will reveal it. And you are not bright enough. But remember, I need a lantern for that one. Yeah, I know, I know. But this way is going to be nothing more than a freaking uh, walking somewhere, but it, it's how I play. Anyone who frequently watched my show knows that, so. guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here uh, let's see we'll go drop off the apples first and then we'll wrap it up Nice blueberry pie. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to be pre-recording several episodes and uploading them. Uh, let me know if it's a series you'll like. Uh, and we'll play it all the way through. And uh, if y'all like it well enough, we'll do a second playthrough where we're playing the evil kid. So the goody goody boy. So thank you. Have a good morning, a good night, whatever it is, and Jerry, and talk to you later.